Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard-earned money on Madden packs? Well, look no further than my sponsor, MMOEXP, for the cheapest and most reliable muck coins on the market. And don't forget to use code FURTY at checkout for 5% off. The link for their website will be right at the top of the description. What's going on, guys? Today we have the highly requested lineup update. I believe this is the third installment of the lineup update series. Um, I try to keep you guys updated every single month. Um, but I do know a lot of you guys probably wanted to see a wide receiver tier list today. And I promise you, the next day that we don't get content, I will make the wide receiver tier list. I'm kind of on a crunch for time today because the Jets play tonight. And I also want to get a live stream out. So I want to make this quick video for you guys today. Um, but yeah, I promise you, the next day there's no Madden content. There will be a wide receiver tier list up on YouTube. I promise, I promise, I promise. But before we hop into it, there are a few things I do want to say. Um, and we do have a giveaway going on right now. Um, it's kind of different than how you would enter my old giveaways. I'm not sure if people have been here since like 2k, 1k and stuff like that. But, um, the, the, all you gotta do to enter is basically just be following me on Twitter, be following me on Twitch and be subscribed to the YouTube channel. And you have to be in the Twitch live stream on Saturday. So on Saturday, I'm not too sure about what the time's going to be. It's probably going to be around 6 PM or 7 PM around, in, around that time. And that's Eastern time. So 7, 8, 6 PM Eastern time. Um, so follow the Twitch channel. So you have notifications on. But all you have to do is be in the Twitch live stream um, on Saturday. And you have a chance to win three gift cards. And if you're already a Twitch sub, um, you have a chance to win a free hoodie. And yes, the merch is dropping in the upcoming days. But uh, yeah, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 20,000 subscribers with the subscribe button to notifications. We post daily Madden 21 content. And also, do not forget to hit that like button. And like I said earlier, I'll leave a link for my Twitch channel down in the description. Um, so if you want to be in that giveaway, follow me on Twitch. Um, and I'll probably be live today over on Twitch as well. So... Um, if you want to come through and chill, um, we'll be live today. Um, probably after this video goes live, probably around that time, because um, I, want, I want to be live before that Monday night game, of course. But uh, yeah, let's hop into it. Let's do it. All right, so I'm going to start here with the face cam off, so you guys can kind of see what the whole team is looking like. Um, so, so I'm not kind of blocking anything. But here's the lineup. Um, we got Trent Williams, Quentin Nelson, Brandon Linder, Jari Evans, Lane Johnson, Antonio Gates, Scary Terry, Julio Jones, LT, Le'Veon Bell at backup with Raheem as well. We got, we got who I think is the best QB in the game right now. That's Steve McNair with Kyler Murray at backup, fullback, of course, CJ Ham, and at wide receiver too. We are rocking DK Metcalf. So we're going to start here at left tackle. And the reason why I have edge protector on Trent Williams is because I know that post up is better because post up works on runs and passes as well. And basically what, what post up is, and we have post up on Jari Evans, but, but what post up does is whenever there's a double team block, they're basically just overpowered. Like, I, I, I can't tell you. I didn't think it was going to activate that much, but I see Jari Evans, and I, ha I used to run on Quentin Nelson a lot. I always see those guys lighting up. I usually do switch off post up and uh, red zone threat on Antonio Gates, but back to the reason why I have edge protector. So if you watch the live streams and you watch um, the videos, you know I love running that beater out of the Saints playbook. So what I do is I like to roll left out of that, and a lot of the times, the the the, the uh, left end or the right, well, I guess it would be the right end for their defense, would always get that easy shed on, on, on Trent Williams because he does not have edge protector, especially when facing like an edge threat or any kind of ability um, right outside rusher. There would always be problems and I wouldn't be able to make that throw as well as I wanted to. So ever since I put edge protector on, I've had no problems with it. Um, I kind of just always roll left carefree. I know Trent Williams is there. Um, I usually sometimes try to double team or something. For some reason, double teams don't work as well as, as I did last year. Maybe it's maybe I'm doing something wrong, but I don't really know. But for some reason, I feel like double teams don't work as well um like, like as far as manually setting them and stuff like that so i just put edge protector on i kind of just forget about it and it definitely helps my offense flow a whole lot more um and i yeah like i said i i like running post up on two guards um so i guess if you don't if you don't need to run an edge protector i don't recommend you do it um i just need it because i like rolling left a lot but i would recommend doing two post ups because post up i think is the best offensive lineman ability yeah let's head over to the tight end at tight end we're rocking antonio gates um right now we're rocking red zone throw on him i think i think this card right now is the best red zone target in the game uh, i mean the 98 catching i'll show you the stats right now um the stats on this card are ridiculous man i know he doesn't have the speed um a guy like darren waller would have better speed but antonio gates literally has everything else um decent run blocker even decent speed like 86 speed is not slow and we just gotta follow on twitch which is kind of weird while we're recording a youtube video but um yeah the speed isn't bad um strength's good i mean 98 catching as well with 96 spec catch 91 short, 90 mid route running. Um, I mean, this card is basically everything in a tight end. Um, but like I said, it doesn't have that premier speed that like Vernon Davis or Waller have, but but he's better than those tight ends in every other category. Um, besides, I guess, maybe deep route running, I guess is the one thing that he misses out on if you don't have him powered up. But um, yeah, so that's what we got on Antonio Gates. We got Rock and Scary Terry. 
Um, Scary Terry, I think he's got 96 speed on my team right now. Um, let's, let's, let's check out that speed. Yeah, 96 speed for Scary Terry. Um, hits all three thresholds. I think Scary Terry is like, Scary Terry might, might be top one, top two receivers in Mutt right now. Um, but uh, yeah, wide receiver three, we're rocking Julio Jones with Route Tech. Um, I actually grinded for this card last night. I was up so late. I grinded all the 50 solos and I also grinded for that power up pass last night. But we do have our free Julio Jones with Route Tech and this card looks amazing as well. Hits all three thresholds, 94 speed, the spec catch, the catching, the size, the animations. Um, Julio Jones is definitely a card that will be getting upgrades throughout the year and will probably stay as a top five receiver um, throughout the year, in my opinion, because EA just loves giving this guy upgrades. And I mean, he definitely does deserve them. I mean, he's one of the best receivers in the league and one of the best receivers of all time as well. So um, yeah, but at running back, we're rocking LaDainian Tomlinson with backfield mismatch. I believe we have on him right now. Uh, yeah, we're rocking backfield mismatch, uh, mainly because I have a hot route master QB. Um, but, um, yeah, backfield mismatch, it's not as good as backfield master, but you, but you, but you are able to save an AP. Um, and I also wanted to run route tech on Julio. So uh, I'm kind of saving an AP, but I do get better routes and catching versus linebackers. So I guess most of the time LT is probably running routes on linebackers anyway. So I probably won't be able to feel difference too much, but, um, yeah, I do think backfield master is better. So if you're, if you do have a receiving back run backfield master over mismatch, um, even if you have a hot route master. So if he, here, here are LT stats though, 94 speed, 95 acceleration. Um, the COD does go down too because of my sprinter, but um, yeah, very, very good card. Super good pass catcher as well with that 85 catching and 90 break tackle. One of my favorite running backs of all time without question. Um, but yeah, let's head over to the, um, so I want to show you my backups real quick. I back up. Um, we are rocking uh, a Le'Veon Bell. I like Le'Veon Bell. He's a big body. Um, we got, got good COD, decent speed, can catch passes. Kind of a good like replacement if LT does get a little bit tired. But we are also rocking Raheem and Raheem is also super fun to use. But um, yeah, at QB though, we're rocking Steve McNair. Uh, one of my favorite quarterbacks I've used this year. Um, thankfully that they did fix his set feet. His set feet was broken for like four hours after his after his release. Um, so I kind of sold this card. Kind of didn't really think about him too much. But now they fixed his set feet. I mean, look at these stats, man. 97 throw power, 87 speed, 94 deep, 95 throw under pressure, 92 throw on the run, 91 play action. Uh, the card is 6'2". Um, can even carry the ball pretty well with 86 COD. Um, has an 80 break tackle. I mean, Steve McNair, the whole package. And, he, and he's a field general that can get hot route master and set feet. Um, Steve McNair, right now, in my opinion, is the best QB in Mutt. If we head over to the, our last wide receiver, actually, I do want to show off Kyler Murray. So people always ask me, will you ever take your X Factor off Kyler Murray? Why is X Factor on Kyler Murray? The reason why I have it on Kyler Murray is because every once in a while, some games, I don't really find X Factor is that important. So every once in a while, I do like running a whole bunch of read options or maybe mixing in like a uh, some QB blast here with Kyler Murray. And all it takes is five, five one-yard carries, and Kyler Murray gets trust. And once he gets trust, it, it makes him such a better ball carrier because I'm, wi I'm willing to take more risk with the QB. Um, and yes, QBs already don't fumble that often, but once he has trust, I'm telling you right now, it's game over for, for, for whoever I'm playing. Um, if I'm running read options, I'm running QB draws. Um, it's tough to stop a trust Kyler Murray. Also, Kyler Murray's a card I think might get a team of the week. I was thinking, I was thinking he could get a team of the week upgrade. But then I thought about how they lost to the Dolphins, so maybe not. But his stats are super good yesterday. Um, I think he definitely deserves. I think he definitely deserves a team of the week power up upgrade. But will he get one? Probably not because because they lost obviously. But let's go over to the last receiver here on offense, and that is DK Metcalf himself. Um, I mean the card is what? What is he? Six three? Yes, six three, ninety six speed. Hits that deep route running threshold. I think DK Metcalf is the best deep threat receiver in Mutt right now. Um, from the physical animations. I mean, this, I mean, you see the speed, you see the spec catch, uh, the jumping. DK Metcalf right now, I think he's the best deep threat. Um, imagine this card on like, a, on like a Seahawks team team or something like that with like 97, 98 speed. Um, it's probably game over if we're being honest. But yeah, this card's absolutely amazing. Um, the guy breaks tackles at 87, can stiff arm. Can, oh, this card, I love DK Metcalf so much. I'm not, I'm not, I'm actually regretting why I even got rid of him even for that week. I, I did get rid of DK Metcalf for a little bit, but we now do have him back and thankfully we do this card is definitely top three receiver in mutt right now just as far as speed size deep route running animations go dk metcalf is amazing all right so before we hop into the defense i do want to show off my chemistries um we are rocking go deep 50 out of 50 as well as lockdown 50 out of 50 and sprinter 40 out of 40 for that plus two speed so lockdown's gonna add i believe that's plus five zone and plus five man um which is obviously super good for those corners and go deep's gonna add that deep route running and throw power um and deep accuracy to your quarterback i think it also does add some pass blocking to your lineman as well um so i, I might i like go deep for now um because it helps me hit those deep routing thresholds on dk metcalf and julio 
But I think down the road, um, maybe play fake or West Coast might be a better option for chemistries. But for now, I'm still rocking go deep to kind of help my receivers hit those thresholds. But uh, yeah, let's head over to the defense. And for the defense, um, please use your imagination and just imagine that I'm level 70 and I have li limited Devin McCourty in my lineup. Um, that is the next thing I'm going to do next time I have some free time. I'm going to finish at that mutt level. I was grinding it so long last night. These levels are so, they take so long, I swear, man. But the next goal, once I hit my level 70, I will have free safety, limited Devin McCourty. And trust me, right now, I was surprised with how this card stats look already. Um, if we upgrade him and look at the stats real quick, this dude, I swear, I mean, yes, the speed isn't there yet. I mean, once you get his limited time card, I believe he has like 93 speed or something like that. But he's, he has 98 zone on his power-up card. And this power-up card's not that expensive. Um, it, I mean, it is a little bit expensive as far as training goes. But as far as like as far as like coin value that his like power-up's worth and his and his other card is worth, um, you're getting a very good free safety for fairly cheap, believe it or not. I mean, if you're rocking lockdown as well, I mean, 98 zone on a card like this, big W. But um, the next upgrade, yes, will be limited Devin McCourty in this position. Uh, I'm just waiting until I hit mode level 70. But... Um, yeah, so just use your imagination there. I'm at back. I'm rocking Adrian Amos with um with Acrobat. Actually, I do want to hide my face camera. Let me hide my face camera real quick so you guys can kind of see the whole thing. Um, but uh, yeah, we got Amos there. We got Lawrence Taylor. We got Bobby Wagner, Sam Mills with Ricky Jackson with Double or Nothing. We got Taylor Mays with X Factor. We got Isaiah Simmons with X Factor. And the reason why I run um these X Factors on my DBs is because if they do end up getting an interception, the X Factor does light up, and I feel like that is worth it in my opinion. So that's why, that's why Taylor Mays and Amos. I mean, I mean, sorry, Taylor Mays and Isaiah Simmons both have um, universal coverage. But if we head down here to the cornerbacks, we're rocking Denzel Ward with Acrobat. We're rocking Troy Polamalu with Acrobat. And we're rocking uh, Dion with one step. And we're rocking Cromartie with one step as well. So against man coverage, um, I mean, I mean, when I'm running man coverage, not many guys are going to be getting open. Because we, we're running Cromartie in the slot position. And we run, uh, and we run Deion Sanders on that outside position. So, I mean, having two one steps... I do play a lot of man coverage, so I, I I was thinking maybe I'd try out one steps again, and I've been liking it a lot. So uh, yeah, we're back running one step, and um, if you're wondering why I have Paul Amado at cornerback three, so in my defense that I run, which is a nickel three three five, um, that's the main defense that I run a lot. So um, I have Troy. So basically, the, what the formation looks like is my two up top safeties are going to be Devin McCourty and uh, Isaiah Simmons, and then we have the three safeties in the middle, and that's sub linebacker Taylor Mays with um with Amos and Paul Amalu. And my pass rushers are Lawrence Taylor, Aaron Donald at, at defensive tackle with Ricky Jackson on the on the uh, on, on the left side there. And then my cornerbacks are, are Denzel Ward on the outside. And we got Cromarty and we got Deion Sanders as well. So all my safeties are on the field. Um, and I only do have three pass rushers, but sometimes I do run nickel over G. And when I do that, um, I do use my Bobby Wagner and I do use my Leroy Glover. Um, the reason why I have Grady Jarrett there is just because my overall, my overall was a little bit low, so I wanted to get, get Grady Jarrett to kind of help boost that. That's the reason why I have him. But um, yeah, when, when I do come out there and over G, I do run Bobby Wagner and I do run Leroy Glover. So um, those cards don't completely go to waste, but they don't see the field as much as like um, the rest of the DB see the field and stuff like that. So if you're wondering why Paul Mons at cornerback three, um, that is why, because he kind of plays in the box. I like him in the box opposed to putting him over the top because um, he kind of helps with the run game a lot. That's why I have Paul Malu there. So I do kind of want to go over the abilities real quick. So um, as far as the abilities on defense go, um, I recommend running Acrobat on as many players as possible. I think running Acrobat and DBs, it bails me out so much. I mean, if you, I mean, you guys watch all my stuff, if you're mostly watching this video. So, um, you know how many times I get bailed out by Acrobat. And I'm, I'm telling you right now, um, this Amos card with Acrobat, he plays like, he plays like a 95 overall. Um, the card just plays insane. Um, honestly, Amos is a card that everyone should have. I mean, for his price and how he plays, Amos should be on everyone's team. But that, that, that's besides the point right now. Um, Amos is amazing though. That's all I'm going to say. Amos is amazing. But, um, I do think running Acrobat on all your DBs is worth it. Um... But yeah, or, or one step. One step's amazing. I, I am kind of scared for what's going to happen once they raise the AP cap because I feel like we're going to see a whole lot more one steps. And one step is one of the best abilities in MUD right now. I mean, I, I was using it at the beginning of the year when I had like Dre Bly and Asante Samuel and guys like that. But I have been facing it a whole bunch. And yeah, one step is just still so annoying to face. Um, you think you have a wide open touchdown and then like Deion Sanders will just recover and just beat the guy to the ball somehow. Like it's crazy how good one step is. So um, yes, it is expensive, but I do think it is kind of worth it in my opinion. I do want to show, show you some stats of some players though. Um, so here's Deion Sanders. Um, these the, the Deion Sanders stats, man, are just ridiculous, man. I don't even have him on a theme team. Uh, with 95 speed, um, 94 play rec, 97 man, 96 zone. Obviously the press is, is a little bit low. 
But um, I do think Dion's next upgrade will be the best corner for the rest of the year because he'll have 99 zone, 99 man, um, be able to press as well and have just insane speed and stuff like that. And, and as you know, Dion always has the best animations in Mutt every year. Um, Deion Sanders is always a card you want. I probably said that in my last lineup update video as well, but trust me, Deion Sanders is always a card you want on your roster at all times. Maybe maybe Ricky Jackson. Maybe I'll show off a Ricky Jackson, um, my brand new edge rusher here, Ricky Jackson, with uh, 89 speed, 92 acceleration, um, with 92 finesse, 88 power moves, 94 play rec, 94 tackling, and he's 6'3". So um, that speed um, with the block shed, the play rec, um, this guy's an absolute force in the run game and rushing the passer as well. So Ricky Jackson... Um, absolutely love this card, and we are rocking double for double or nothing on him as well. So, um, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it for the defense. Um, I know everyone usually does ask me, what playbook do you run? What playbooks do you run? What playbooks do you run? So I do run. I'm running Saints playbook. I'm running Saints. I'm running Saints vertical offense, and we're running a base um, four six defense. Love the Saints playbook. I, I get better in it every single day. Um, I'm trying to learn new formations every day at a Saints playbook. There are so many good formations in Saints playbook, by the way. Um, the empty sets, the uh, the uh, tight formations, the bunch formations. There are so many good formations in Saints. If you are looking for a new playbook, I recommend you, I recommend you try Saints. Um, I, I love Saints playbook. Even last year, I loved it as well. Um, I was running Saints before I went to Raiders last year. Um, but this year, I'm probably going to stick with Saints for the long haul, honestly. I love this playbook so much. But um, yeah, they're my playbooks. I mean, I'm rocking Coach Madden. Um, and, yeah, my Coach Madden is pretty stacked up right now. Um, we got, yeah, we got go deep twice on him as well as lockdown, lockdown, and sprinter as well, which does help out those chems a whole bunch. But, um, yeah, that is basically the whole roster. I don't really know what else. Am I forgetting to do something? I feel like I might be forgetting something. Um, I don't think I am, though. I think we got everything basically down. Yeah, so there's the defense and the offense. I think we have everything good. So, uh, yeah, I mean, if you are still watching the video, comment the, um, what, what emoji should we comment today? Comment the frog emoji. Comment the frog emoji down in the comment section if you are still watching the video right now. But um, yeah, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and if the video helped you out under the video, be sure to hit that like button. And like I said, most likely while you're watching this right now, we are live over on Twitch, link down in the description. But uh, yeah, as always, I'll see you boys in the next one.